yeah, just a little jog and then a little bit of FIFA. So at the start, we, we did a small sided possession game with the third, uh, second and third years and the fourth years, where we just tried to look at breaking the lines and getting them thinking about how they play the through balls and having second and third man runs. Can we set? Switch the play! Press the ball! Don't go into the, both areas! Don't go in the same areas! Pit! Okay. So, we've got one touch finish in the final third. What I'm trying to look for here, boys, is simple. We, we got it from the Reds early doors. What did you do to the ball when they had the ball? Yeah, I think they've, they've come back uh, quite well. So I can only obviously speak um, for the boys in my squad that I see day in, day out. Um, and as I said earlier to you, that with the injuries that we had, I had players stepping in after for the first league game in over two years due to injury and that. And you can see that they've worked hard since being back. Um, and although we lost 2-1, there's only positives moving forward for them. It wider, like this, is so we get that space. So we can try and switch the play. Nice, get a little bit of one-touch combination and then try and thread those passes through. What we're going to advance to on this second three minutes is when we're breaking in, the only way you can score is still a one-touch finish but it's got to come from a pass inside that final third. So I can thread it through, you go and push on that last man, get ready Zai to switch in. So if I hit your feet, you lay into Zai, and then we finish then, we can go. But it's got to be a one-touch finish off that little combination. Yeah? So I'm trying to build a little bit of fluency from the middle of the park into the final third. Pit. Can you? Brilliant touch. Oh, that was the one. Yes, good. My boy, man. <laughs> Nell took the second part of the session, worked a little bit on passing and receiving, playing off the front foot, uh, receiving on the back foot. And then we tried to take that into the game. And the, the, the reason behind when we mixed the first years in with the second, third and fourth is just to get that physical aspect of the game as well. So obviously when we're playing in the under 21s, under 23 leagues, they're coming up against grown men and it's good a good test day in, day out where they get that physical attribute as well. And from, from my point of view, managing the, th the third and fourth years, I try and remember where those boys were when they first come in uh, to the academy. And I think on the whole this year, I think the first years are really um, putting it out there and holding it together. Three of them obviously with me on uh, Monday night for our, our league game against uh, Ilkley Town. So it's a real positive for the academy moving forward with the, uh, with the level um, that we're bringing in. And you saw out there today that they've got that level of confidence as well um, on the ball, they don't shy away um, and, and they're, they're progressing really well. Thirty seconds. Finish. Get in. Look. Three oh seven. Three oh seven. We've only lost one though. So crazy. Much better.